Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to have a quick overview of the different um, flat parts and also the feature itself. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise we go back in the program here. So now this is going to be a mini series on flat parts. So uh, today we're going to have a quick overview, but we'll also do a few practicals just so you guys can get a better understanding of how it works. Now, um, a flat parts also, this is a great place to, as a base start. So let's say you are going to be working with more generic type parts and so forth. Then you definitely want to go to your flat parts. If you however want to create custom parts, which is not located in the um, uh, preset it flat parts then what you want to do is you can go to your CAD and from within your CAD you can create your own custom shapes save it as a DXF file and then use it in your program but I'm just gonna close the CAD for now so the flat parts you can obviously get it under your file menu we've got flat parts or what you do is you just click flat parts then it will open up a list of the different um, flat parts you get as you can see here we've got um, 59 parts that we can start with presets so from circles we've got squares rectangles and uh, triangles you can some of these will have different options so something like a circle will be very simple where some of these things again will have degrees it can rotate in or um, uh, yeah options like that so quite a few different options some of these ones are quite advanced so we're definitely going to run through a few practicals because it doesn't help me I just show you how one works and then um, you have no understanding of the rest so this I've got an idea how long this little mini series is going to be it could be long I don't depending on how many we have to cover here but it could also be quite short so we'll just see um, as we go along at any point if you feel like okay you've got this you don't need any more just skip along to the next mini series and then um, yeah but if you feel like still not quite grasping it just carry on and then like i said we'll see how many of these we end up doing but otherwise yeah that is it or should i say overview of the flat parts once again it's a great base starting point for creating generic type shapes and uh, they are quite customizable so uh, it's a great um, starting point once again you find it here on your main toolbar or your primary toolbar or your main menu file parts flat parts Otherwise, before we head into some practicals, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and you can also isolate your search here on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request the training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching. Until next one, cheers.